Hey yeah, friends and family, my name is Ochinga and I'm that multicultural guy. I make videos about my life here in the United States as an international student. And also I make videos that are funny, scary, creepy, weird, you know, various of content. So welcome to my channel. So I mentioned before that I'm an international student. I didn't happen to be like that. I had to do a lot of things and some steps, some paperwork, a lot of things so I can come here and study in the United States. I did not get a lot of help when I first started because I didn't know how the process worked, but eventually everything worked out, I'm here in the United States. And I thought, why would I not just share my knowledge and help you? If you're deciding to become an international student in the United States, then stay here and I will show you the steps and what are the things that you can do. So okay? before anything, anything, anything else, if you want to go to college, make sure you apply on your junior year why make sure you start the application process because it will give you a lot of time so you can get all your paperwork done and you know understand clearly what the school wants and you know if there's a change of plans and you want to choose a different university then that will work too i applied like around a like six months before the fall semester and I was not able to get all my paperwork done by the fall. That's why I moved to get into the spring semester. So just keep that in mind. If you want to apply to university in the United States, make sure that they have SEVP. It stands for Student or Exchange Visitor Program, which basically means that the university is able to accept international students. Each university has school requirements and I know it's a hassle to apply to different universities at the same time. But guess what? There's a solution. What helped me? I used Common App and it's a program where you can just type a general application and then you send it to different universities. Now, each university might have something different or something to add to it and you just have to do it. And instead of just applying go to the website to the college just everything is just all in common app and that helped me a lot translation and evaluation not all your documents are going to be in english so what you do you send them to a sworn translator because they are trained to translate official documents and when you do that you have them all in english now another thing is evaluation your transcripts are not going to be in a grading system that America uses. So what you do, you send your transcript to an evaluation company. Most universities will tell you what kind of evaluation, which evaluation company they work with. But if they just give you a choice, um, I recommend IERF. That was the evaluation company that I used. WES also is a company that they used to. So IRF stands for International Education Research Foundation and WES stands for World Education Service. I think that is step four. Okay, step four, let's just say that, step four. Um, this is for visa and other legal stuff. You have to prove your funding. That's a big thing. You have to prove that you are able to pay your way through college. And how do you do that? You have to have a sponsor. A sponsor is a person, is a citizen here that just says, hey, I'm going to be the legal guardian just to make sure that I keep that student in check and just to make sure that everything's okay because they're not gonna just send a random stranger into the country like that. If there's any problem that I have to do, if I have any problem, they refer to the sponsor. That's just one thing. After that, after you have proven everything, the school is going to send you an I-20, which is a paper that shows that, hey, you got accepted, and these are all the documents, and you're an international student here, and blah, blah, blah. You sign it, and then you take it with you so you can start your visa process. And that's everything that you have to do. So guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope this was very beneficial. If you have anything you want to add, comment down below. If you have questions, comment down below. If you want me to make a video about the visa process and what to do and all other stuff, please tell me. I want to help other international students. We get it hard and sometimes you don't have 
when you ask questions, you don't have straightforward answers, and I'm trying to provide that. So I'm watching that multicultural guy. Stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video.